Hi, my name is Li Tiwei, and this is my self culture report. So let me introduce myself first. I was born in Henan, China, and my major is Bachelor of Mass Communication, Digital and, Commun and Production. So here is my content. I will share in four views from gender, class, national identity, and communication skill. Let's begin with gender. So when it comes to gender, I think one of my best friends, a boy who grew up with me, my experience with him shaped my gender identity. When we were children, he often took the initiative to play with me. He was very lively and active, although I was very shy when we played computer games together, both of us were very delighted. Later, as we grew older, I became outgoing while he became introverted. He usually played with the boys and I preferred to play with girls. We avoid hangout because we don't want to be mistaken for popular. It's a little weird, right? Mm, because popular is a very sensitive topic in China. Then we start the, in high school. Our relationship is getting better again. We study together. His grades were so excited, silent, and he often helped me to solve the difficult math problem. And next part is class identity. Class plays an important role, role in shaping our reactions to and uh, interpretation of culture. My family wasn't middle class until I was in high school. I lived in the country before, then I moved to the big city after my father got a promotion in his job, but I still ha had a low self-esteem as before. At a class meeting, the teacher asked us to share a labor experience of our holiday. Other students said they could do the dishes and mop the floor, and I'm talking about farming. To my surprise, my teacher was particularly appreciative of my experience. He said I was different from others, but I dared to express myself at that time. So since then, I no longer inferiority dare to pursue my own goals. Let's move part three, national identity. So national identity influences how we look at the world and communicate with people of other nationalities. My cognition of this comes mainly from uh, ancient Chinese poetry, Chinese festivals, and Chinese folk music. I like to read ancient poetry in my spare time because it is one of the important Chinese culture. I like the Tang Dynasty poet Li Bai best. His poetry is very good and romantic, arbitrary and free. And my favorite festival is Autumn Festival. We share moon cakes with family. I am very good at playing Gu Zheng, of course. Especially like the song High Mountains and Running Water is a very good music. And next part is about my communication skill. I often talk about computer games and movies with my family. In my free time, I like to play computer games with my father. My father always shares the power of games. We often discuss that. Why is a game so appealing? What values is it trying to convey? And what ideas do the game makers have? and I prefer to watch films with my parents in cinema. We often talk about movies together. My father and I like to watch science fiction movies, but my mother likes to watch comedy movies. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. So in conclusion, at first, 
I often felt inferior when I communicated with people uh, when I was very young. The experience of farming in the field made me deeply reflect on my spiritual world. And later, as I learned more ancient words, I understood the different encounters and the moods of ancient poets, and learned about different cultures in the world by playing games and watching movies. This made me more tolerant and open, and I became more easygoing with people. So now I am confident enough to express myself, and I hope I can continue to communicate with this attitude and style. So I think that's all. Thank you very much.